Hey everybody, Craig Hit. Uh, uh, Madonna here for Stermansky. Well, that probably wasn't what you were expecting, and actually that will show you how little I know about today's topic, which is the World Cup. But uh, setting that aside, I'm sure you figured out right away that I wasn't Madonna. Um, that our facial hair is different. Anyway, I um, don't know a lot about the World Cup, but I do know about great watches. And what we're talking about today is the Stermansky World Cup watch. Stramansky, the first watch in space on the wrist of Yuri Gagarin, is the brand that we're talking about today. And let me get my name out as I interrupted myself earlier. I am Craig Hester, if you haven't watched me before. Uh, our company distributes uh, Stramansky watches in North America. That is the U.S., Canada, and Caribbean. Um, and the brand Stramansky is a Russian brand. It's still based in Moscow today. All the watches are still hand-assembled in Moscow. And uh, we are their distributors here. Uh, Stramansky, as I said earlier, the first watch in space on the wrist of Yuri Gagarin. Again, if you know anything about the brand, you know that. But if you didn't, now you do. So getting back to the fact that uh, I don't really know a lot about the World Cup, and even though I probably know less about the lingerie habits of Madonna, um, I will say that I do know that these are involved somehow, and this ball is involved somehow, and supposed to kick it through some stuff. I, I'm not that bad, actually. I do know a little bit about it. But what I do know is this is the commemorative edition from Stramansky, and it is a coveted watch. Now, you may be asking yourself, Craig, that's what I usually do. I say, Craig, why didn't you do this video during the World Cup? Well, first of all, these watches were selling so fast during the World Cup, we didn't need to do this. But now that the World Cup is over and we've discovered that these are actually quite uh, in demand and they are, there's very limited, in fact, Sermansky themselves doesn't have any more uh, stock of these and there's very limited stock anywhere around the world. Most of the major websites that carry Sermansky don't even have this watch anymore. Uh, we were able to get our hands on the last few that Sermansky had in stock. Um, and now with the World Cup being over, uh, this is now becoming a piece of history. And that's one of the things I always like to say about Stramansky. Um, and like all of us are waiting for when Madonna will be a piece of history. I'm sorry, that was bad. Um, that's one of the things I like to say about Stramansky is uh, so many of their watches are actual, hist you know, ha ha are pieces of history. They are, they're collector's items. They are tied to history. I mean, again, the Gagarin, which I'm not going to go into detail here because that's not what we're talking about today. That watch being the first watch in space on his wrist, the commemorative editions are historical timepieces. So that's the same here. Now, you guys have heard me say this before, that and what I'm doing here is um, I'm actually massaging the camera because it gets really lonely if I don't massage it while we're doing the videos. I'm trying to make sure it focuses on the watch here. Uh, it's, it's getting really confused by all the pictures of these great Russian uh, space explorers that are on the shirt. By the way, if you get this shirt, get this shirt if you get this watch normally I call everything a watch anyway um, if you get this particular watch we will throw in one of these shirts of the space pioneers even though that has absolutely nothing to do with this watch but we just have a lot of these shirts um, but I'm going to tell you right now the sizes are really small so if you are anywhere of the girth or double chin that I have you won't be able to wear one of them but it'll be great to give to like your son or your nephew or your daughter or whatever so um, when you pick up one of these after this video is loaded, you will be getting one of these Space Pioneers shirts to go along with it. Now I'm going to actually get back to the watch. So, uh, what's cool about this watch? Well, first of all, I like to say uh, it doesn't get any more Russian than this. For those of you who are true purists of Russian watches, this is as Russian as it gets. Um, there is not a, I don't believe there's a word of English on this watch anywhere. It is entirely in Cyrillic. Um, so that right there uh, makes this a very Russian watch. Uh, I know Tim Temple, for instance, is a big fan of the ones that are truly uh, have only Cyrillic on them. And then number two, this is a Russian movement. Uh, this is the Vostok 2432 dual time movement in here. Vostok of Chistable, Russia, the oldest and largest continually, continuously operating Russian watch manufacturer based in Chistable, Russia, Chistable, the Iowa of Russia. Um, and that is where the movement is made. Uh, it is a 19 joule automatic movement, can be, can be manually wound. Oh, and for those of you who've asked many times, while we're talking about the Vostok movement, a couple of things to mention. Uh, one, it does, it is a bi-directional uh, rotation on the rotor, so you could, if you put it on a watch winder, gotta massage my camera again, yes, yes, 
Yes. You feel better now? Thank you. Um, if you put it on a watch winder, it goes back and forth either way. It can, it can go either way, kind of like Madonna. Um, and you don't you don't have to have it rotating one way or the other. So you're you're not going to hurt the. In fact, it's better if you put it on a watch winder and you have the ability to program the winder to go either way. Uh, it's better if you do that because it it won't put uh, uneven wear on the ball bearings on one side. And the other thing about the Vostok movement, and I'm not going to go through all the hassle of trying to do this and show it to you, but the way the date changes, you don't have a quick set position on the crown. Uh, the date actually changes by moving past midnight and then toggling back to eight o'clock and then going back past midnight. And if you really need an education on that, there is a video on our channel, uh, R2A Watches uh, channel on YouTube. By the way, I didn't mention that earlier. I always I get, I get into all this stuff. I was really caught up with the whole Madonna thing today. Uh, we are R2AWatches.com. That's where Stramansky watches are sold to the public in the United States. You can also get them at Altivo.com. Uh, you can get them at GreatTiming.com. There are several websites in the U.S. that carry uh, Stramansky watches. I believe the only other retailer in the U.S. that's carrying uh, this particular watch is Altivo. Um, and uh, be sure and hit like and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, be sure and like our page there. So this watch, okay, this is with apologies to my partners at Stramansky, but I have to read you. I, I, I probably shouldn't. I'm sure Alexander's going to get on to me, although I have offered to them before, and I have to, I have to give them, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I have to admit when they've asked me in the past to do, uh, to do English translations for them, I've been really bad about getting them back to them very quickly. Um, but I do offer to do that. But I wanted to read you what they actually say about the watch in this special uh, pamphlet that comes with it. Welcome Stramansky limited edition watch dedicated to football, sport of particular attention in Russia. This model is made on the base of Russian made self lining mechanical caliber. The mechanism was fully modified to create unique watch. Multicolor football image is printed on the 24 hour subsidiary dial. The ball is rotating and showing the time inside the dial framed by the diamond faced chamber. Cities names hosting the football cup 2018 are printed on the rotating rim of the outside perimeter. I'm not wearing my glasses is part of why I'm struggling with this. Um, this is when I always feel like Dean Martin in the Celebrity Roast. Tim always, I, I'm showing my age, but if, if you ever watch the old Celebrity Roast, you know Dean Martin, he did those like basically just completely knackered the whole time. And he never wore his glasses, so he couldn't see the, uh, he couldn't see the teleprompter. He was constantly getting stuff wrong. Anyway, yes, I'm getting old. Back plate is fixed by a few screws. A clear crystal in its center, yes, that's the phone, we won't be getting that, allows you to see self winding mechanical caliber. The crystal is customized with multicolor football style print. Yes, we're not big enough to have a separate studio where you don't hear the phone. Luminous index hour markers of the time scale are clearly viewed on the blue dial. Hands with diamond style facets are also covered by luminous paint. Streamlined watch cases made from stainless steel with grinded and polished facets and red elements. Actually, as something being written by a non-English speaker, it's actually pretty good. But um, And I don't know if you notice this. I always notice this about other languages. It's one of the things about English is most of the other languages, particularly the Slavic languages of the people I deal with, they don't have uh, definite articles like we have A, N, and V. And you see that missing all the time. Like, where was it? Um, I know you didn't think you were going to be getting an English lesson when we were watching this watch video. Uh, well, I can't find it now. You like that music? Just another Anyway, it was a place where they left out the or the rewind. Watch me say it again. Then you can see that. All right. This watch is off the base of what is called the Gagarin Sport model. Uh, it's the same case. It's the same movement. Uh, what's different here, as I, as I said when I was reading that, uh, it does have the soccer or football in the center, and that does turn this upside down and backwards and get the, the camera to have it in focus. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. As you rotate around, do I have to, do I have to stroke you again? Hello, Madonna. Come here, mm -hmm. let me stroke you. 
See, when I get a joke, I bang the hell out of it in whatever video I'm doing. Um, you can see that the soccer ball moves around. Okay, like other ones of this style have a globe in the center. We have the soccer ball here, and that's moving around. On the, I, again, I think it was, oh, I didn't get myself a pointer this time. Um, here we are. On, I'm not going to write on the watch. All right, come on, come on, come on, girl. There you go. Come on. Oh, my dog. Would you please focus? Okay. On the dial, uh, these are actually the cities that were hosting the different events in the World Cup. And then you've got the 24-hour indicator in the middle. And you can you, you unscrew this crown. And that will move the internal bezel. When you screw it back into place, then it's fixed in place. On the back, there is an exhibition case back in there. You can see the really great soccer ball. I want to point out, because it is important, this is not an official World Cup watch. Um, this is a watch commemorating the fact that the World Cup was in Russia. Uh, I want to make sure that we don't get Stramansky in any trouble. Um, the watch was not an official merchandise of the World Cup. But because the, the World Cup was in Russia this year, um, they did do this commemorative edition. So what else? It's a 46 millimeter. It's a 100 meter. Uh, or it's a 10 ATM or 100 meter uh, water resistant. Um, again, it is an automatic mechanical multi-joule movement, 19-joule 19 19 movement. Um, screw in crowns on both the crowns. It's dual time with the 24-hour indication, and the second time zone is a 24-hour time zone. It's 14 millimeters thick. You've got the really nice, uh, I forget what material they're using, I think it's enamel, uh, enamel uh, cabochons on both of the crowns. Um, here, let me put it on the wrist for you. And it's a good size. It's not huge. Um, but at 46, it's it's a good standard size. I really like a 46. It's a very Goldilocks size for me. It's not too big. It's not too small. Uh, I don't have a really big wrist, so a 46 is a really nice, comfortable size. Um, I like that size. And again, these are, once these are gone, they are gone. So if you are a fan of the World Cup, if you are a fan of the World Cup, a fan of Stramansky watches, a fan of Madonna, a fan of Dean Martin, a fan of guys who should have worn their glasses when they were doing videos, then this is the watch for you. Um, you, you don't want to pass this up. I mean, I don't. I, you don't have to be. Look, I'm going to have one in my collection just because it is going to be such a rare watch. I made a very small. I don't think that uh, I'm not going to be able to read it. How many did they make? Twenty. Oh, they made 2018 of them for 2018. There's a shot. Um, and because it isn't, it, but I can guarantee you they didn't actually make 2018 of these. If there's there's 500 of these out in the market, I'd be surprised. Um, that was just the maximum they allowed themselves to make. Um, anyway, because this is going to be very a, a, a very uh, limited watch, very coveted, if, you, if you're into Stramansky, this is one to have in your collection. If you're into soccer slash football, this is definitely one to have in your collection. And next time, I'm going to do something different with this secondary feed so that I'm not constantly having to make it... Uh, be in focus again. Again, it's trying to it's trying to focus on this shirt behind it. Uh, what else? I think those are the key facets of the watch, and you can tell that uh, I've had a long day. <laughs> um, and until next time, hey, keep watching.